funders want to see outcomes. Uh, how do you measure SEL skills and, and how do you talk to your staff and, and to, the, uh, to the organizations you're working with about measuring SEL? Yeah, so we, uh, we got some very good advice. So our organization is about 15 years old right now. We got some very uh, good advice early on from uh, Martha Johns, who, who was a, a director of evaluation and research for a short period of time. And she said, because you're such a soft program, you have to evaluate more than anybody else. Or you're never going to be able to communicate what you've done. Um, it's going to be all anecdotal. And so we uh, took that very seriously. And so now in our program, uh, we do process formative and empirical uh, evaluations. Um, we do pre and post program surveys. Um, in and around all of the domains, right? And we expanded our evaluation to include the six domains here. Um, we have weekly meetings, staff meetings, uh, program meetings, uh, where we sit down and we're assessing our work and problem solving all the way along. Um, we have constant staff dialogue. One of the advantages of working in New York, and this may be the only advantage ever of working in New York, this aspect of working in New York, is we have no space, right? We all work in very small spaces. So the six of us in my office work in a very small space. We're literally in each other's laps. There's no doors, no windows, right? To have a private meeting, ironically enough, you have to go down to the street. So uh, we all hear each other's conversations all day long. And we're always talking to one another. And that can seem a little invasive or intrusive, and it does get a little annoying sometimes, but it's actually a real advantage because I'm hearing and they're hearing everything that's going on. Um, the other thing we do is uh, what we call elevator conversations. Again, it's one of those New York things, right? Uh, you guys have cars, we have elevators and subway trains, right? So uh, we have conversations with our kids on the elevator. I have learned more about our program, riding the elevator with our young people than almost any place else, because I'll say, how's it going? And they go, meh. And I'm like, what's up? And they're like, well, nothing. And I'm like, what is that? And by the time I get to the first floor, they've told me, and I know now I've got a problem, right, that we need to solve. And that's evaluating informally. And we didn't think of it that way before, but now we understand that what we're constantly doing is assessing and evaluating, right? Um, we also do research. So we're about to finish our second research project on our program. We did a three-year uh, research project with Teachers College of Columbia University, National Center for Children and Families, on our two programs that are for all young people. And uh, we found out some really interesting things. We were looking at why so many were going to college. It turned out that we're really only making a difference, we think, and it was inconclusive, as most research projects are. Those of you who are researchers, this was news to me that most research projects are neutral to negative and lead to more research. I thought there would be a more definitive answer. But they said that uh, for about a third of our young people were making a difference in terms of going to college. But there are three areas in which we're making a huge difference. The betas were over uh, 2.0 which was self-disclosure, the ability to uh, share their story, regardless of context and regardless of how good or bad that story was. The other was emotional support, which is the ability to give and get emotional support in relationships, and uh, conflict resolution, right? The ability to resolve conflicts. Now, you, if you're like me, in terms of sort of just making sense of that, say, wow, that's really important. Could you imagine in your life you can share your story, you can be open, you're comfortable in your own skin, you know how to build relationships and have support in those relationships. Those are really positive things, right? Um, but, uh, but they didn't really mean much to the, the outside world. I mean, people understand intuitively that way. Uh, so uh, it reiterated for us something that we've always believed and we believe more now, which is that all of those gains need to leave to sort of empirical markers, right? College, pregnancy, drugs, incarceration, all those ugly things that everyone wants to, to look at. Um, not college, but the other ones, um, <laughs> right? The, uh, the, the, those are, the, you, have to, you have to relate those to them, right? That, that we can't just say that our kids are improving socially, emotionally. You have to, you, people want to know, okay, what does that lead to? Now, that's our next research project, right? Which we have to find the money and the time to do, which is, okay, now that those things have happened in the program, what happens afterwards?